Hey gents, today we'll discuss ignoring women. If you don't ignore them, they'll come to you. And this refers to the number of women who are talking about MGTOW online, in videos, or on social media. A few years ago, if you watched MGTOW videos, you would typically see men essentially in the background hiding. And I'm going to say hiding because they were trying to protect themselves from being exposed. Because there was once a period when men who went their own way would be laughed at, especially if they didn't resemble the 20% of men whom women coveted. Now the woman's attention will undoubtedly be drawn to me if I come out here looking so good. MGTOW men are coming out because times have changed. They are emerging from the curtain, and they're coming out as themselves. These women are shocked since they think that these men aren't really that awful. As you are aware, men are victims of the miseries of American dating culture and victims of the feminism of this evening. United claim that we can comprehend these men since they aren't that horrible. However, the fact that the numbers are increasing is what makes them understand us. Men are receiving the messages, discussing the MGTOW concept on message boards, Reddit, and YouTube. And some major providers who may become major providers are simply stating, We've had it. There are no longer any connections to us. Most traditional forms of dating, the kind where you pay your half and that's it, that we've been taught about are no longer practiced. Your half is not paid. That's it, man. We have no further conversation with you. We're putting the idea of marriage completely off the table. Now that these women have realized this, they must take action. Feminism has reached a breaking point when these men leave the plantation and stop providing the services. And they are basically what these women are. You know, they grew up believing that they had a right to dates, to be paid, to be taken on pay vacations, and to receive these things in advance. These were things that were offered up front rather than after the fact. Men won't do that any longer, it seems. Not at all. To garner the attention they no longer receive, women are entering male spaces. The proverbial dates aren't paying for it just to see where this leads, and nobody is gassing their heads up once more. As a result, there is a huge increase in the number of women who are creating MGTOW content and who profess to comprehend men who follow their own paths. These women are the center of attention. They receive a large number of views and subscribers. That is a fundamental dating strategy that I can see, and I'll give you some examples here. I firmly believe that you men jump out of everything that you learn and everything that you know the moment a woman pays you even the slightest attention. I went on a date with a woman who was lovely, hot, and beautiful around three years ago. In actuality, I believe I had just recovered from the virus and wasn't really fully recovered. I recall that I got a date with her when I went on this particular occasion. On the date, she revealed to me that she was taking the red pill and that she was aware of MGTOW. I was shocked to learn this, and those were my first MGTOW days. I'm currently experiencing a shock, and because I'm having problems with my ex-wife right now, I'm about to explode in red pill rage. But as I sit there, I think, this woman knows about MGTOW. This young woman is aware of the red pill. In the end, we concluded that nothing else transpired between us. However, I had the impression that she was saying that she would have no chance with this man if he knew about the red pill and MGTOW. He is an experienced player. Any wise woman's future dating plan should include telling men they understand the red pill and why men are choosing their own path, if they are aware of your desire to do so. I fail to understand why women shouldn't continue to prey on these weak simps or just one blow away from returning to the plantation. If they implement this plan, they will eliminate 50% of the men who identify as MGTOW and 50% of the men who identify as a red pill, all in one go. I have no doubts because of what I see in the comments left by these women who are unfamiliar with MGTOW, who clearly understand the concept. They say they used to despise it. However, all of a sudden, they exclaim, oh, I get it now. Understandable to me. The worst form of feminism. The majority of these women are lesbians. Therefore, they wish they hadn't stood up. Moreover, five people pursue post-feminism on a scale of one to 10. They desired to put themselves in a position since they had no choice but to labor and the only women who jumped on board were the sluggish ones. But right now, these women are only using the circumstance. They're going to focus on your weak point right now. They'll concentrate on that. And that's the strategy they'll use to get you to abandon your MGTOW beliefs. I don't mind when women claim to understand MGTOW. But what bothers me is when MGTOW simps or MGTOW disciples comment to their subscription base or comment board and say things like, I wish there were more women like me who understood MGTOW. These men are unaware that the objective is to deceive them into returning to the plantation and then returning them to the predicament they initially put them in. Don't pay attention to what women say, pay attention to what they do. Women are attempting to catch your eye. Don't you realize the goal of the game is to capture and hold your attention? And they are indeed acting like chameleons. To keep you in the game, 
they continuously change their color. The game is already familiar to us. They will find a method to capture our attention whether we ignore them or if we don't pay them any attention at all. And another way of attracting your attention is by saying they understand MGTOW. I'm not envious now that they are stealing men from my audience and introducing them to theirs. I'm taking this action to convey to the men a message about self-defense. I'm doing this for that reason. This will be used by these women as a dating tactic to attract red pill men and bring them back to the plantation. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It motivates me to create more content for you. See you next time. Cheers.